Along with the family, many in the city of Hazleton received the answers they so longed for today. Residents who lived through it still remember the uncertainty in the days following Chivarella's murder. Newswatch 16's Marshall Keeley was back in the community where Marie Chivarella once lived. For those who lived through what happened to Marie Chivarella, the memories of her murder are still fresh in their minds. I can remember the fear that went across, you know, that that could happen, you know, at that particular time. Hazleton resident Sandy Moser was just a teenager in 1964. Hearing the news of the killing, Moser's parents kept a close watch over her. I'll tell you what, they, they made you go to bed early and you weren't allowed out after dark. And then you didn't hear anything about it for a long time. For nearly 58 years, the Chivarellas and the people of Hazleton waited for answers as to what happened. To many residents' astonishment, that day finally came. Joseph Barbani is impressed with investigators breakthrough and the DNA processing that helped pinpoint the killer. It's amazing that the technology of today, they were able to, you know, find the person. That's fantastic because they're finally able to get families their closure that they deserve. James Paul Fort, the man investigators say was behind the brutal killing, looks familiar to Barbani. When I saw the picture on TV, it rang a bell in my little in my head. Yeah. Barnani believes Fort's unassuming appearance may have helped him avoid suspicion. He had the look of the boy next door, but the evil that must have been in him must have been amazing. There is evil in the world, but we don't actually understand it till it's on top of us. After decades of investigation, that evil has been brought to light. Marshall Keeley, Newswatch 16, Hazleton.